Hello everyone. So here I come up with a new video in data quality management in Informatica series with a very new topic called as parsing in data quality, right? So let's begin with. So we have already done in the previous videos that what is parsing? Parsing is a method to break the tokens into small parts or break the sentence into small parts. And there are basically two types of parsing. One is parser transformation and under parser transformation we have already done what is token based parsing and we have already done parsing using reference table. Now today we are going to do the second type of parsing which is called as pattern based transformation. Now, uh, before beginning with the practical, let's understand that what is pattern based transformation. So pattern based transformations is that transformation in which we use a particular pattern to identify the data which has to be split up into two parts. For example, if I'm having first name and last name uh, and these two values are under the column full name. So full name must be having some delimiter which is separating the two words. So word word will be the pattern in that case, right? Now pattern based transformation always takes two input values that is labeled data and tokenized data and it will always provide you two output values that is labeled data and tokenized data. So there will be two inputs and two outputs for pattern based transformation and that will be label data and tokenized data. So label data here means what the data is all about, what by which word, by which label I'm tagging the data and the tokenized means that particular data that is full name column is split up into tokens, two parts. So it is a tokenized data. So let's understand this via practical and then it will be more clear to you. So coming back to my developer, I'm already having a folder which contains some data and the data is, is my uh, employee underscore new. So this is my data set. If I run this data viewer, it is going to contain five columns and there will be seven rows. So let me just run this to show you the data inside this. So my integration service is running at the background. And I can see there are five columns and there are approximately seven rows. So row one to seven tells me that there are seven rows. Okay, and there's a column called as full name, which I want to split uh, parse using the pattern based transformation. So let's let's begin with that. I'm going to go to my folder and right click new and I'll click on mapping because I want to use transformation. So I'll be using mapping pattern uh, pattern underscore mapping. I click on finish. This is the ID of your pattern matching. Now I'm going to bring the source data onto my mapping. So this is my employee underscore new file and it is under the read mode. Okay, so it has been on my ID. Now next step is to use the transformation and here I'm going to use my parser transformation. So I right click, click on add transformation and then I choose the option parser, select it and click on OK. Now here uh, we need to choose the type as pattern based. Basically there are two types. One is token parser which we did in the previous example uh, in the previous video. Now today we are going to focus more on pattern based parser. So I'm going to choose this type and click on finish. So you have a parser. Now, uh, since here you want to work only on the full name column, that is you want to split the column uh, in the first name and last name. So I select it and 
I need to put this onto the parser. Now, before if I put uh, this input or uh, connect my now here, when I bring my parser on the uh, IDE, you can see that the parser contains two inputs. That is the label data and the tokenized data. As I told you uh, in the slide that the parser based transformation, pattern based transformation is going to take two input values that is local label data and the tokenized data. And it is also going to generate the two output value, label data and tokenized data. So here it is going asking you for two inputs, label data and tokenized data. But you can see in my source file, there is only one column value that is full name on which I want to work, which I want to split in the first name and last name. So to get two outputs of this one input value, what I need to do is I need to choose one more transformation here, which is called as your labeler okay so what is the task of labeler transformation the labeler transformation is responsible to divide your get the input from your source data and generate two outputs out of it one is the data label uh, and the second is tokenized so here i'm going to pick up my full name column from the read data and put it on the labeler input right now i'm going to configure my labeler so right click go to properties and go to the strategies here i'm going to add a strategy so i click on new uh, i can write labeler simple labeler and the input will be the full name column okay now i'll choose the properties in the properties basically you're going to have two things. One is token, second is character. You want to generate the label, generate the data of each row in a character by character format or a token by token. See, token means word and character means one single character of a particular name. So you want to split your data. You want to label your data based on word to word or character to character. If you want to do word to word, you will select your token, right? And you see here the delimiter will be space. So in between the token, the delimiter will be space. So in between the two words, the delimiter will be space. And when you see the space, the second thing is output delimiter. The input delimiter will be space, but your labeler is going to generate the output, keeping this delimiter the pre-default limit limiter as the difference between two words so this will be the output delimiter in your case keep it as it is and go to next now here i have to choose the second option that is token set i'm not using reference table because data is not there in the reference table click on token set click on next now uh, now this is giving you the list of inbuilt tokens which are available in the data quality idq so from here i'm going to browse down scroll down and choose the token called as word now why word because my full name contains only the word character so i'm going to choose the word token set and click on next and click on finish so you can see for this labeler the two outputs has been generated that is label i labeled output and tokenized data. So the next task is to connect the output port of labeled output with the input of partial and tokenized output with the label of input of partial. So done with this. Now next step is to configure my partial. So I go to the properties of the partial keeping it as selected and then I go to the ports. Now here uh, you can see there are two input ports and there are two output ports. But I'm going to generate two output ports which I want in my output. So I select the output and click on new. Right. In the first field I'm going to add F name and in the next second field I'm going to add the L name. So the output columns which I want is F name and L name. Now next step is go to your patterns tab 
and you add a new pattern here so to adding a new pattern click on new and then pattern now here you're going to create a user defined pattern now what i need to write here is what important to understand right so uh, for this let's go back to the labeler and uh, run the data viewer of the labeler once so run the data viewer of the labeler so what i can see here is that the laborer is going to generate two outputs that is labeled output and the tokenized data now in case of labeled output the data was labeled with the keyword word word because as i have used the token set word the labeled output will be word word and in the tokenized data column you can see the data is separated using the output delimiter which we choose just a uh, few minutes back while configuring the label this was the delimiter output delimiter right now what is the name given to this data rahul gupta the name or uh, label is word word so label is word word now the same pattern the same labeled output value is what i'm going to use while configuring the pattern in the parser so remember it's word word go back to your parser go to its properties and at the pattern type you can write here the pattern that is word word okay now in the first name just click on it and browse down you will select get two values word 0 and word 1 so word of index 0 will be my first name and word of index 1 will be my last name so i'm done with this now i'm going to save this right and i'm going to now generate the expression transformation to get my final output so expression click on okay right now here i can just to get some values from the input source also so i can get the the id eid from the so eid value in the expression i can get the full name input into my expression and i can get the first name and last name from the parser pattern based parser which i just created right so this is done save it now run the data viewer of your expression to see the output okay so here i go this is the output of my expression transformation this was the full name column which i got in the so from the source data and this is the first name and last name which has been split up by my pattern based parser transformation using the labeler data uh, transformation and using the data which i got from the input source so this is all about your pattern based transformation i hope you or uh, understood the concept of pattern based parser transformation if you have any kind of doubt please put your uh, doubts in the comment section i'll be happy to help you please do like and subscribe to the channel thank you have a good day